we're back in my store, New to Pro, part two. Stick around and find out how far we get. What's going on everybody? Welcome back. It's JB with JB80 Gaming. We're back in my store doing Noob to Pro Part 2. Uh, check out the other video we did, Part 1, show you how to get everything started out. This is Part 2 where we can step up a little bit, move some more better stuff. So before we get in this, do me a favor. Hey, smash the like button and leave your boy a comment, especially if you got any more tips or ideas, or maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let me know your opinion on it. Also, all you new people out there, thanks for watching, stopping by. Do your favor, do your boy a favor, show me some love, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, hit the like button, and help me out. So, anyway, let's get into this. New to pro, new to pro. So, first of all, what we're gonna do is well, let's go take a look at our stats real quick and see how exactly okay. We've been playing, let's see, we've been playing right at two hours. Uh, we've opened 40 capsules, 185,000 in cash, and over 2,700 and some customer served. That's in just two hours, two hours. I remember when I first started out, man, it took me forever, forever to get some money and stuff. But what we're going to do is we're going to jump on over here and let's go ahead and make some purchases. Because we've got to go ahead, it's time to upgrade what we've got right now. We've got some money, we got 71,000 in cash. Uh, we're a level, looks like we're a level nine or eight or whatever it is. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump over here to the store, to my mall there. We're gonna wipe everything out first because we're about to start everything over. So, go ahead and wipe for you. Not go back to floors. Let's go to settings and let's go ahead and close the store. Close the store down real quick. We're closing the store and now we're gonna jump over here to the mall. So, in the mall, what we're gonna do is all right, we glitched out there for a second. We went ahead and bought four of them right there. And now we're going to just find these cash registers so we can get a little bit more speed on there. Now, these video game consoles right here, uh, let's go back to it again. Video game console right there. We don't need them anymore because they paid less money. Go ahead and sell them. Get them out of there. Let's buy some more cash registers because, like I said, more cash registers, more customers come in. Let's see how much the cheap ones and stuff are. So we have, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and buy 20 of them. All right, and there we go. We got 21 of them. We got five of them. We got four of them. Now let's jump back over here. Uh, well, come on, uh, do I don't want to buy any more. Uh, buy five more, maybe. I don't know, they're expensive. Yeah, they are expensive. They are expensive. You know what? There we go. We'll buy five of them. Four of them, five of them, four of them. Yeah, four will be enough. All right, let's go ahead and jump to my. St come on. All right, come on, JB. Get it together. All right, here we go. We're back in my store. We're back at mine. All right, go ahead and let's place the four most expensive ones right there at the front. Remember, closest to the door, closest to the door. Right there, there, there. And we're going to take this one, flip it around there. Well, come on, get in the spot. Uh, uh, that, that, come on. There we go. So, let's delete that one because he's got to go to the other side of me. And what we're going to do is we're going to flip him around so he's actually don't have to walk over there. He can walk right there. It's like in and out, in and out. That's the key to it. In and out, in and out. Now, let's go ahead and place four of these. Put them right here. Remember, facing towards the door. So when the customers come in, they walk right to it, grab it. And go right to your cash registers, right there, there, and there. All right now, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to place the other cash registers all the way around. We're gonna circle these around because we want to make it easy for the customers just to grab the stuff. I'm gonna show you in a minute what happens when you spread stuff too far out, how long it takes. All right, one there. All right, let's go put one in the corner right there because people can check out and it's right there at the door. I'm trying to keep everything right here at the door as close as possible. The closer to the door, close to the merchandise, grab it and check it out. Grab it and check it out. But you got to have more registers because more registers equals more money. Exactly, exactly. If you haven't, if you haven't yet, yet, if you had not had a chance yet, go check out our other video on new to pro the part one this is going to show you how to get started out to start with like i said we're going to place all these cash registers more cash registers more customers and now we don't want to use the cheat the reason we get rid of the other stuff is because 
why not have the most expensive stuff make where they're gonna buy that they're not picky they're gonna buy whatever you have in there your customers gonna come in buy whatever you have in there so if you have the hundred dollar chefs plus these they're gonna buy off of both of them they're gonna buy the hundred dollar chefs and then they're going some other customers are gonna buy this but if you got all the most expensive stuff in there all they're gonna do is buy the most expensive stuff that's the key to getting to make the money and get the customers in customers in is customer serve is keeping it closer to the door so that we can go ahead and have all that right there with it all right and so now you can see right here let's go ahead and open the store the store is open so we got all the customers coming in and that's a good thing now the customers will come in they're gonna buy and we we'll start building up money i mean we're at forty six thousand right here so let's just see how quickly it builds up it's not gonna build up as quickly because right now, compared to the other video, we don't have the two-time bonus. We don't have the two-time, oh, there we get. Sorry about that, everybody. We don't have the two-time bonus going on right now. Well, there's 107. See, now, if we would have had the cheap chefs, you'd be buy, people would be buying stuff for like $10, $15, $20. Now, you got to keep doing what you're doing is, you know, running around, cashing people out. Because we don't, I mean, you're going to have to do some work. Eventually, you'll be getting enough money in so it don't really matter at all. But right now, you're going to have to do some work. You have to go around here and cash people out. I mean, did you really think you're going to get to play a game and just sit there and it does all the work for you? No! You're going to have to do work too. That's just how it goes. That's how it goes. All right. As you can see, we're still making money. we got money coming in. Customers are coming in. That's the main thing. They're coming in. They're moving fast. They're coming in. They're moving fast. They're coming in. They're moving fast. Yeah, we've got to run around in circles and we're going to have to cash this person out. Uh, maybe stock a little chef here, stock a little chef there. But that's just thing. Now, first of all, yeah, let's go ahead and hire some more cashiers. We got some money here. So it looks like we've got maybe three to four cashiers we can hire. Let's go ahead and get them hired real quick. Because that's going to help us right there. Then we, I mean, we'll still be cashing people out. Don't get me wrong. You still got to cash people out. It's called your store. You're not a billionaire yet. You're going to have to do some work. And definitely let's go and get a couple of these cheap boxers who's going to stock stuff up. We only got four shelves to box up. These guys should handle that. And look at me. Look look at JB. I'm running around cashing them out. Now, if you have any comments on this, uh, well, we got two rest. Let's go ahead and throw them in real quick because we could make a little bit extra. Uh, maybe not. Who knows? But, uh, now I definitely I'm definitely up for any more tips or ideas any more tips or ideas I'm not sure I'm not ashamed I'll take anybody's ideas that wants to help out or any tips you have or let me know what you think about this layout hey uh, leave me a comment have you tried this layout uh, is this a layout you have tried uh, have you watched any of the videos and tried this out hey also be sure to go uh, go join our group page on Roblox it's JB80 gaming JB80 gaming Check us out on Roblox. We always have all kind of giveaways and stuff. Now, one thing we don't want to forget, I forgot about, is spin the wheel. We want to spin this wheel right here. And what are they going to give us? I love to have some mini parties for more cash and stuff. Uh, they're going to give me the stocking show. I will forget that. And let's go into the bunny store. The reason we really hadn't hunted the Easter eggs yet, because we don't, I mean, the Easter store is expensive. I don't have the money in there to get it. <coughs> Starting up, excuse me. Starting off as a noob, you can't get it. No matter how great I am, yes, I, I yeah. They should call me JB the Great. I, I just play it. Ah, uh, let's see the comments on that one. So, but hey, if you want us to do definitely, if you want us to do a uh, part three of this, a part three, uh, get us a couple hundred likes on here. Uh, let's get us up about five hundred to a thousand views, and we'll do a part three. If, uh, on my main account, on my main account, man, I've got uh, right now. I've been grinding. I've got close to 300 million built up I'm um, thinking about going if you want to go ahead and go live on my main account so you can see my main account let me know I'll be glad to do that and check that one out and look so we did get the Easter Bunny stuff but let's see here we got a little party going on we got some bunnies come in I mean yeah we're at 39,000 so uh, but now if you have any questions I, definitely let me know if you have any questions on how to do this or how to do that i'm here to help you also if there's any games you want us to play any games you want us to play do a video on, leave a comment let me know we'll check them out uh, i've been trying to we're trying to do a bunch of new games i've been known for playing saber man i play a ton of saber simulator 
can give a ton of OP pets away. So if you do play Saber Simulator, check out our other videos where you can win some OP pets. That is for sure. And hey, this video does enough. We'll, like I said, we'll go live and we'll give away some Robux. You never know. I've got a ton, a ton. I got close to a million Robux. We're looking to give them away. We're giving away a million Robux. And here goes the fun part. Let's see here. I mean, look at look at the money we've made, okay? And look at it, uh, 2,857 customers served. We're making a ton of money. Now, one thing we don't want to forget, let's go to the mall. And we got to buy some capsules. When you get some money built up, because these guys pay more. They pay more. They do the one times, two times, three, four, five times what they are. What, if they was going to spend 100 and it's two times that, hey, that's 200 bucks more. You're making more money on it. Now, one thing I recommend is I hate hatching one at a time. I hate opening one capsule at a time. The odds are not in your favor when you open up one at a time. Now, when you open up, when you get the three uh, opener, man, you open up so much more. Do you need the auto right now? I don't believe you need the auto. I saved my Robux on the auto right now. You don't really need it. I'm here to help you. So, let's see if we can get any new customers here. There we go. There's a new one. I try to hatch a few times, and if I don't get a new one, I kind of like go on to the next one or whatever. Because you get to the last two, you got to have some money. I don't want to really spend all my money trying to hatch the last two most of the, the top tier the whatever you want to call them customers because they're the hardest ones to get the last one or two are sometimes they're easy sometimes they're hard so i don't want to spend all my money because i need that money for the store to buy more shelving to buy more display cases to buy more stuff work and for us to get the things we need so let's take a look there we go that's a new one right there, so we'll take him, definitely. Maybe open up one more. If I get the same, uh, the same, you know what, we'll skip off of it. Let's go ahead and head back. And let me go ahead and apologize, everybody. When you're doing a new to pro video, what you're doing is you're doing a lot of grinding to start with. It ain't a lot of new stuff, because you got to get that money built up. And what we're doing is really just showing you how to get this stuff built up. I've already done it in my other, my store. I've got, uh, where I'm, like I said, I'm going to buy, what are they? The, they're, what, 150 million a piece. I'm going to buy two of them. I've already got one in my store. I've got four or five of the other stuff in my store. Uh, of course, you want the glove gloves and blub gloves and all that, but you don't have the money yet. I'm showing you a way to make the money quick so you can get that stuff. Because I see so many people who come in, like, yeah, right over here. Let's see. Our goal is, you know, we want to get that. That's 150,000. But maybe, maybe I'll just pass off and get the 350 and get that right there because it's gonna pay more money. It's only about a. It's only what 150. It's two times the money right there. But I might get it. But here's your VIP. You definitely want to get the VIP. Like this right here is 240,000 when you got a VIP. Usually that would cost you 300,000. So it saves you 60,000. I think the VIP is worth it. Just like this right here is 120. It's saving you thirty thousand if you're VIP, because uses one hundred fifty. The shit, um, the counters and stuff. Who cares about the counters? They don't make you any money. Now these over here, that's a hundred thousand. They're great to have once you start getting your money built up. Same thing with the glove, glove, one million and stir, stir stairs a lot. Ten million. I think I've got about seven or eight of him. Uh, we definitely want to get more self checkouts. Uh, we definitely want to get better cash registers. You know, we might go ahead and throw a couple more in here to get some more customers. So let's go ahead and do this. Because we're trying to build the customer base up. We're trying to build more of them up in here. More people in, more money you make, and the more customers you serve. So that's the key to it. If you want to make the leaderboard, that's what you got to do. And of course, there's a bunch more layouts once you get farther, in, farther into the game and start doing more stuff in the game itself. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, to start out with, like I said, look, uh, we're over, we're at... 2,000 some customers. I mean, look at the money and everything. And just look at the time. Look at the time we've played. Look at the time we played. Hardly none at all. And most of the time, it's just been running around here. Because once you start making the money, you'll start making even more money. Once you get past these little bitty uh, cheap displays, and you start getting your glove gloves and blub gloves and glove gloves and all that other stuff in there, you'll start making, uh, you'll have better customers come in. You'll have the kings and stuff come in there. The VIPs coming in there. So, but you got hey, you got to start somewhere. It's like I tell everybody, you got to start somewhere. Hey, you got to crawl before you walk. It's like I tell everybody, when you were a baby, you just jump up and start walking. I told a kid that one time. He told me, no, 
I said, uh, when you're a baby, did you walk or crawl first? He said, man, I jumped up and took off running. I was like, okay, you're missing the point completely. So here we go. Let's check out a few more customers. I know this is the boring part. That's why y'all got to leave me comments. Let me know what you want me to do. Uh, you want to jump on the other account and show you that? Do you want a part three? Where I, after I grind a little bit more, get a little bit more money saved up so we can show you exactly what to do. Once we get the big stuff in here, once we get the big babies in here, once we start buying the glove gloves and glove gloves and all them good stuff. Should we go live with it? Here we go. Now I think I might show you an example in a minute while I'm talking about why people, I still go to some stores and everybody's got everything spread out. They, they got all the floors. Yeah, your store looks good and everything. It's nice, but you're going for looks. You're not going for the leaderboards. You're not going for the money. And you know what? After you make the money, if you want to do a pretty little store, hey, do your pretty little store. Right now, I did that. And it took forever to make some money. It took forever. I mean, it took a forever. And I was like, man, I've got to get away from this. Uh, we'll go for looks later, show it. So, yeah, I don't have no inventory, so let's go ahead and jump over to the mall. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy a shelf just to show you. And we're going we're gonna to check this out and time this out real quick. Let's go over here. There we go. Let's place this shelf right over here. This is a cheap $100 shelf. Put it there. Now turn around and look. Let's see if we get a customer walk, walk into it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. We just leveled up about 41, 42 seconds for that customer to go all the way back there. That's why. 41 seconds for that customer and really probably longer than that. I mean walk all the way back there to buy a product They go you gonna make a couple of dollars off of okay now. Let's take a look at this one over here Let's find another person over here. Here we go There's iron. Uh, well, no Let's find okay. We're gonna follow maybe Iron Man Iron Man one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Seventeen seconds. Right, it took 17 Iron Man seventeen seconds. seconds. Seventeen seconds. That's with slow cash register. Seventeen seconds to grab the item, get it and grab out. Now that's when you had the good chefs right here. Now when you spread them out, it took the person close to 40, 41 seconds. So Iron Man 17, 40. You can get two more customers in, and by the time it took them to check out. Well, look, everybody, look, we're going to keep grinding. If you, Like I said, if you want to see another video about my store, go ahead and smash the like button and leave me a comment. Let's go ahead and look here. We have over, what, 300,000 made, uh, over 3,000 customers and everything, and about two hours and, what, 10 minutes? Two hours and 10 minutes. So, like I said, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If you want to see a uh, part two, let me know smash the, by smashing the like button and viewing the video. The more views we got, the more videos we do. Uh, if you want a video you want us to do, let me know. So, other than that, I'm, I'm going to run around here. I'm JB with JB80 Gaming. All the new people out there, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to subscribe and leave your boy a comment and show me some love. Other than that, I'm out. Have a great day. Holla at your boy.